No running water, no electricity, winter cold and sludge, as far as the eye can see. Welcome to Grand Saint. This illegal camp harbours around 2,000 people from Iraq and Syria, among them 200 women. The only help these migrant women get on the ground is from NGOs such as Gynecology Without Borders. Our mission is to accueillir the patients qui présentent des problèmes gynécologiques ou des grossesses ou des demandes d'IVG et voilà de leur apporter un soutien également psychologique. But it's not always easy for migrant women to seek out help. Nous, ce qu'il faut, c'est qu'on repère les endroits stratégiques parce que les femmes, on les rencontre pas dans le camp. Donc les endroits. Non, non. Et puis on les voit pas, on les voit pas. Faut pas aller dans leur tente, c'est quand même très compliqué. Their first case that day is the probable miscarriage of a Kurdish woman who's been there for 10 days. She's uh, one month and one week pregnant and she's bleeding and she's sick and she can't eat. She's in very bad situation which is ambulance come now. Bah, la souffrance c'est le déjà le déracinement, c'est déjà euh, voilà tout ce qu'elles ont vécu pendant le trajet, hein. Et puis après c'est euh, bah, leur vie ici. A situation of suffering and despair that many MEPs denounce. During the journey, a phenomenal number of women experience violence. Um, violence before they leave very often, not only violence in war, but actually domestic violence. And then on the journey, high levels of gender-based violence against them, rape, and in quite a lot of cases, transactional sex to pay the smugglers and the traffickers. Although they live a hellish situation, they will see their journey through for the sake of their children and themselves.